Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So in the last episode we've prepared our ballistas at Pollux, now we are building an M MXBA, which will increase our dust income further. And we are at the verge of conquering Edix, which is not the best world, but it still has four planets in it. One has still some ruins which we don't, which we cannot check because they require expedition power four, which we don't have now. However, we could get some access to some extra red sang, plus some more dust. So I believe this will be a good system, and it will also allow us to more easily move between Pollux and Zubin and our other your systems so I suppose that's a good thing now looks like the cravers are massing a heavy force here they got a lot of long-range units here they really could do something about that and well we do have those cutters here they'll be useful in dealing with those mm, slicers in the case if the cravers decide to attack us which I hope they won't but still it's possible so simply let's begin let's see what will happen okay another level up now we could grab hmm Tape Cider, Legendary Authority as a ship upgrade. Hmm. Well, we don't have much to go on right now. Because most of these upgrades are ship upgrades. Let's go with the transfor transformation of leadership. Let's see what we find. Okay, Zuvan has last population unit available now. Now we have a couple of ratio population units. We could send them on that hot world and that will grab us some additional approval not that we really need it but still okay since we're done with that we still could do something here could grab the edenization simply because Auriga being a unique planet generates additional influence from population So this is a frontier world, or rather a frontline world, I would say. So we could also build a bunch of defensive structures here for safety's sake. So let's focus on those after we're done with these. We could also grab the level four modernization, but. Let's see, we could upgrade Zubin, Jander and Izar. Let's start with Jander. And here, after we're done with that, I'm gonna grab the careful sweeping. Okay, we 
managed to grab Lupus, which is fine. However, I believe we won't be able to, to capture any other s lodestone system because the rest of them are at this side. Vultures are defenders. As well as the United Empire. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna keep the Caravel here. Getting minus 14.6 pressure from current diplomatic status. Hmm. Can't quite tell what's the deal with that. Vision sharing alliance, trade agreement, open border. Could make a demand on them. But honestly, we don't have that much of a need for that. Unless we would want to grab something like hardened alloys from them. Hmm. Let's grab the hardened alloys. We would need that. Hmm. Besides that, could use an economic tribute. No, we need the hardened alloys. Plus, I suppose we could use the antimatter. Let's see if they go for that. Hmm. Okay. That's good. Okay, all of this is done. Now since we have those hardened alloys, we have additional space in our fleet so we can reorganize them a little bit more. Could, for example, send one ship here. We could send a bunch of ships down here. ships. That's better. While here we could potentially send these ballistas to this fleet. Okay. I believe I have enough of an advantage that I can assault them again. And this time I'm gonna use the Blitz Tactics. Simply because I have a crushing advantage here. And enough manpower to support that, so let's fight. Okay, they say that it's a minor victory, but from my point of view, that's quite a high one. 
Okay. One more turn and we'll capture this system. Okay. Let's end the turn. Ambler population boost has come to an end. So let's restart that. We're low on manpower. And we've captured this system. Now I tend to occupy it. Okay, and since we've got that, let's start upgrading it. This is a level 2 system. Not sure what the boost is. However, what I'm sure is that I'm gonna start by building the basics and the Xena industrial infrastructure, transport network. Won't give us too much, but it's not that expensive to build. And the predictive logistics. I think that's more than enough for now. And Pollux. Here we've got everything that we wanted. For now. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Could also build an aut autonomous... Um, where is it? An autonomous administration. I believe that's a necessity since we are slowly expanding the amount of our, our empire here. And I don't want to trigger this disapproval for, for over colonizing. Since we've got the edicts, I believe it's time to move towards Isil. It's another nice system there. I could use has a bit of quite a lot of resources, especially the Quadrinex. So I'm gonna send this fleet down there, and then when we're done, I'm gonna send this one as well. This last ballista will. Stand by at Zubin for a moment. Then we'll see where that leads. Okay. So let's end turn. And another level up here. Let's see, dust catalyzation. Very good, 27,000 dust produced per turn. So we have a nice income. We're building it up nicely. Got some craver ships over here, so let's throw them off here. Soon we will feast. I'm gonna close the borders because I don't want them to sneak around here.
design. Okay. Now here, they got a lot of manpower. So I'll have to blockade the system for now. Let's see. I have no hack hacking operations running. And I have a backdoor on the index. And I won't need it anymore. So let's remove it and I'm gonna start a new operation and hack easel as well as bunny there we go next turn Okay, we've got a new quest, this time to rate the amount of science to 5400. Hmm. Well, I'm not aiming for that. Hmm. We didn't help them in their time of need. Can't quite tell why. Or where since we've grabbed the edicts for them okay they've captured Beatrix here we now we can grab second tier of upgrades so let's see I'm aiming for the prospector's touch for the extra adamantium but right now, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need to grab something else. Could grab the pioneering spirit for even more industry. While here, let's grab the dust. Since we have a big huge amount of money I'm gonna buy more upgrades here could wait for Earth's major shipping it increases to level 16 I need to check something because for some reason by with the same amount of Mm, freighters, the lower level one is more expensive than the higher one and I wonder if increasing the level reduces the cost of freighters. Can't quite tell. So, so I'm gonna wait with these for now. And in the meantime, let's grab these here. We also now have an external subsidiary at Tekal, which is nice. And we have more space to build a new subsidiary, or maybe even more. We have nine systems, so we could build a few of those. One in the Edix, the new system. So I'm going to start building it here. The other one I suppose is Zubin. Yeah, the other one is Zubin. And this will increase our income further. And let's grab some more dust upgrades. Okay, that's fine. Now 
And we're gonna keep these two fleets here. Hmm. I accidentally moved the ballista here, but that's not a problem. Now I can merge both of these fleets together. And they should have more than enough manpower to deal with with this system. Could use some more info on one what we're dealing with. Oh well. Now we have the power armor, so our gas giants now have increased cap on all types of planets. Plus we have access to the mech suit quarter which allows us to produce more luxury and strategic resources. Okay. Means we refuse the truce. Since that, we could start start building this one as well. Now we are we're getting seven adamantium per turn. This is quite a nice income already. But we we still could use even more. Now here. Let's grab the Monopoly. Now honestly, we don't need the mech suit quarter here. We have more than enough uh, luxury resources to get those and I'm more interested in dust either way so I'm not gonna build that here could make could prepare the AI labor on the other hand it won't give much but always a bit more and after that the political theater and Phoenix since we've got those gas giants here, we gain additional slots on these worlds. So we can use that. Now these Lumeris pops will be more useful on Phoenix 3. And we could build the MXBA here now. Okay. Let's continue. And we've got a new population collection bonus for the Lumeris. So now we are ignoring blockades on trading rules and 25% trade company dust income is added to our influence. No, not now, not yet anyway. First I want to capture this system. See I'm gonna wait a few turns for that but later I'm gonna try to hit them. In the meantime here still have four wit upgrades. One I suppose is this one, the Regan Nagin Master. The other one, I suppose, is the Joy Initiative. A lot the rest is the transformational leadership. I 
Let's grab the food income. Not that we really need it. Gender. Here on the other hand, even though we have a nice income of Quadranex, we could build the Mexico Quarter. It's a expensive resource, so having more of it is good for us. We could also build the Honeycomb Scope. Plus, since we have that Mexico Quarter, we could really use more our Halkex, so I'm gonna go and build this Mexico Quarter here. Plus, I'm gonna exchange the atemporal finance for the self mining NPO, and that way we'll get even more of it. And we really need that for the MXBAs. Okay, next turn. Okay, construction complete. Polex. This improvement is already active. Ah. Okay. We still could grab the interspecies cooperative here. So let's do that. And let's see. I suppose five more turns and we're gonna try an assault here. How much time will it take? Five turns. Well, that's quite good. More dust. Now oh, here, Edix. That's quite a lot of population types here and there. Got one nearest population type. An ecologist. That grants additional food and fertile. Sisters of Mercy. Don't have any cold words here. We do have an ameba. Logistics, Trade Company Subsidiary and I'm gonna grab the Modernization as well as a new colony well, Considering the amount of dust that we're making I could potentially buy out some things for example this Trade Company Later I'm gonna see. Hmm. Here I can grab the shadow banking. So let's do that. Okay, and the turn. Hostile trace detected here. So, hmm. Let's try to overload them. Okay. Let's 
grab the second level of pioneering spirit here. And here, plus relativistic targeting level 2. Good. So I suppose I suppose that will be all for today. We are already over 30 minutes. So it's time to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos that you know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around.